Diana Jackadoff presents, Can I Give You a Hand With That? On this episode, I talk about painting the upper half of my face, including contouring, highlighting, and nose contouring. All right, now that I have my eyebrows, um, I'm going to go in with my contour filler again. Remember 11W TV paint stick. And I go from the tail up, tail up, and then I draw a little rainbow arch here. This is going to give you that snatch look. And then go in with my normal foundation color, the OB3, the one that you used on your chin to start with. And I do that in the middle of my forehead. I also go in with a brush. Since I don't like that harsh uh, highlight color, I use my normal foundation color. I don't use my highlight color above my eyebrow to clean it up. I spent some money on my brushes, but I, I, I'm not a makeup artist. You don't have to be a makeup artist to be a drag queen. Um, as long as you know the shape of your own face and what suits it. So, I personally do not know how... I personally do not know what brushes you're supposed to use for whatever. I'm sure you can take a course or you can do YouTube channels. But I found which one worked the best for the products that I use. And so I use this thicker one here. I don't like an angled brush here because I want this line to be as thick as possible. Because I'm going to blend it into my forehead color because I don't want that highlight line. And if you aren't satisfied with how you cleaned it up, you can always take your angle brush with the product on it used to do your eyebrows and just remap it. There we go. Now I'm gonna blend that out. There we go. Okay. Now I go in with my highlight, 2W paint stick, and I map that line out over here a lot cleaner. Boom, clean. And then I take it from the corner of my eye, connect. So, and then you go under your eye. I do line all the way down under my nose, the top of my lip, same on this side. Boom. And then the dab in the middle of my forehead. Okay, now I do my foundation on my nose, the normal one that I did on my forehead. I usually do those together, I just forgot. Okay, and there you go. And then you're just gonna blend this all out with your beauty blenders. Again, repetition, repetition, repetition. Make sure to get all the way to your waterline. Blend it into the side of your nose. Into that like crease, your nostril crease. 
And this is when the blending gets fun because you blend your highlight into your contour and then it starts looking really real and you feel the fantasy. Feel the fantasy, yeah. Then I'm going to blend this nose out into the highlight, into the beginning of my eyebrows because I'm going to do an ombre look later. So I didn't put much of the um, Vin Nye cream in the beginning of my eyebrow because I knew that I was going to blend this foundation into it and it just helps to make for a better ombre eyebrow later. I'm going to blend this highlight into the center. So now I'm going to blend out my contour, my forehead contour. I'm on this way up. My wig's probably gonna be covering it, but in case it slips back or anything like that, this needs to be up, up, up. And then diffuse this line here. You don't, out of all the places you don't want a harsh line is this forehead contour. So once I blend that out, I'm gonna blend it a little bit more. I'm going in with my highlight beauty blender and just diffusing this line a little bit more because it looked a little too harsh. And then you go in again and again and again. And again. And then I take that brush that I used earlier for my cheek contour and I do it for my forehead contour too. My drag style is very Swedish queen. My drag mother is Electra Mulan of Cabaret Mulan um, from Malmo, Sweden. We met here in Los Angeles and she took me under her tutelage and so, um, my look is very Swedish, um, I mean, at least her style of drag. Check her out! She's fucking amazing. Okay, now I'm, I'm happy with my forehead contour. I'm going to take this and blend out this contour a little more because it got lost when I blended the highlight into it. Now it's time to contour your nose. Yes. I use the same angled brush that I use to do my uh, eyebrows. I wipe it off on my uh, towel on my lap and then I get my contour color, the 11W in Cryon TV paint stick. And then map out my nose. 
uh, the there's definitely a a slew of different nose contours that you can do. I prefer button nose. It looks the best because I have very large nostrils being a person of mixed descent. Make sure you get under your nose. I like to make it look like Sarah Michelle Gellar because I'm a big Buffy fan. You want this, when you blend it out, you want it to blend into your eyebrow, the beginning of your eyebrow, so you get it pretty close to it. I take a MAC Beauty Blender. This one is shaped a little differently. I like the pointed end. I use the uh, blunted end at first to uh, diffuse this line here. But yeah, so we're gonna blend that into the eyebrow as I stated. And just blend this down. Until I look like I have a dirty nose. This is just to give the shadow um, a lot of tutorials show you how to do your nose contour based on the contour color. I do my nose contour based on the highlight color. So this is just to map it out so that I can define it more with the highlight. We use 2W. I'm using the same brush that I did uh, above my eyebrow with. This is probably the most important part besides eyebrow. So. Now to the fun part, nose contours. In drag, you can create any nose you want. A button nose, a needlepoint nose. Hell, you can even have a Magnolia Crawford nose. I chose to go with a Sarah Michelle Geller nose. Start by doing your nose contour with creams. The great thing about creams is that you can fix everything. So if you mess up your contour, you can go over it with highlight and fix it. I usually use an angled brush for my nose contour, but you can also just use a beauty blender that already has your makeup product on it. Who are you most excited to see on the next season of Drag Race? Comment below! I'm hoping to see Kim Chi, Mayhem Miller, Lexi Thomas and her infamous boob contour, and Bible Girl! The world famous gay bar, The Abbey, in West Hollywood hosts a lip syncing competition called Lip Service every Monday for drag queens. Come throw your stripper cash at me and see me compete on May 4th at 10 p.m. Thanks for tuning in to part four. Click the link above to watch part five, where I talk about how to powder your face and painting your eyes. This episode of can I give you a hand with that? It's brought to you by DragQueensGalore.com, showing you more of what you love. Come say, hey mama, at our shared booth at the first ever RuPaul's DragCon, Saturday and Sunday, May 16th and 17th at the Los Angeles Convention Center.